all other stakeholders, particularly alumni, selected to uh, start these two courses. These course two courses will be from December first week onwards, and they will be having 100% placement. So such a strength has been given by government FAP and local representatives. And in this way, I think in, uh, not only this uh, but personal type of water department, I also wish to really log into the number of uh, workshops, training programs, and other important uh, uh, training programs should be conducted by each and every department and to focus this institution in a very, very great fashion to all the evaluating the agencies. So I think definitely the support will be rendered by each and every stakeholder. Now at this junction, I not only congratulate each and every stakeholder who participated in this seminar or in this uh, symposium, I really heartfelt thanks from not only from the principal's uh, office, from the Department of Botany and from each and every staff member and least of the every student of this college. So thank you, thank you very much for all your support you have given to us. We have really launched this program from made a seeding an idea from 1-1-2015. So, so much time has taken place and with the cooperation of, uh, net, of Network of his uh, collaboration and with all your support, you can meet the day really ended up today at this time. So, in this uh, junction, I request Dr. Srivan Sragaru to give a brief report uh, on the symposium that took place for three days. Srivan Sragaru. Respected Principal Sir, Respected MLA, Akinada and other dignitaries on the dais, of the dais and uh, eminent oncologists from uh, all over the country and uh, research scholars from various uh, university center research organizations and my dear students and faculty members. Being uh, the organizing secretary of uh, this uh, three day symposium, I have to sum up for the activity but uh, I requested the convener to sum up the activity, he already made that. So now I would like to acknowledge the different uh, funding agencies and individuals who made the, my dream into reality. I would like to thank Dr. Rajalashmi Madam. Immediately after the announcement of this uh, symposium, she gave me 10,000 rupees. Later, Dr. K. Ramaragaru, a retired scientist from CSMCRI, he gave 25,000 rupees. The other organizations like uh, the Snapal Genate, the Aqua Agri, Lynn Plante, the uh, Aquaculture Foundation of India, they came forward and they joined, the Sistri Biosciences, they joined and they collaborated with us in conducting this uh, national symposium. Later, due to depth of funds, we approached the other organizations also. We applied for many organizations for the funding. So, the UNDP Agri project, the in charge, Sri K. Tursi Ravagaru, came to my rescue and he is kind enough to sanction 1.5 lakhs to conduct this symposium. So, day before yesterday only, the NABOD came and uh, the NABOD announced uh, 1 lakh rupees and uh, sanctioned uh, last night for the printing of uh, the journal, the CVT research utilization, in which all the presentations that occurred for the last three days will be published in uh, three special volumes of uh, CVT research and utilization within uh, the few months. I would like to thank the other foundations like the GSPC. GSPC, they also sanctioned 1.5 lakhs last night only for this symposium. So, uh, Gujarat Petroleum State Corporation, uh, Gujarat State Petroleum Corporation, they sanctioned 1.5 lakhs. So, I would like to thank each and every person who helped me a lot in conducting this symposium, in particular my principal, because from 1 1 2005 onwards till date, we slept for few hours in the nights. We used to conversate with each other even in the midnights, 
to organize this symposium. So I thank him profusely from bottom of my heart. I am expressing my sincere thanks all about all day and what are the proceedings, what have come up all this day. And I actually pray the authorities to make this center a viable one by having a repeated training programs for the welfare of the society. And I wish this center, this, this PR college should become one of these centers since it is located almost in the central of the coastal Andhra Pradesh. So this way, this will benefit almost all coastal fisher folk from the, the you can say Srika, Srikakulam up to, you can say, the Nellur, Nellur coast and everything. There are a lot of areas I have seen. We have already surveyed there are a lot of areas. And you can generate vibrant and you can establish industries, completely eradicate the poverty and uh, you can feed the poor people at least one day good meals. Thank you very much. Because uh, without Suparagaru, I think uh, uh, this is he is the one actually who has been really coordinating just like a faculty member from the day one onwards, and we get to really ended up with this uh, very 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 important symposium. Thank you, sir, once again. Uh, sir, I request that the Tulsi Raghavaru has been really continuously supporting this organization, not only to this symposium, but in various fashions in connecting uh, biofest and uh, uh, aquaculture related activities, etc. Thank you, sir. Good morning, Lo. Kakinada City, MLA Garu, Variki, Development Aspect Lo Chala, Harikamal Chistunaru, Variki, Alage, Dr. M. Sachinam Principal Garu of this great college, and Secretary, Organizing Secretary, Dr. Srinivas Garu, and Mr. Dharbabu Garu, Professor Madam Vidyavati Garu, I am the student of the Kakta University. I did my MSc and PhD from there. And my teacher is also here, Osai Raju Garu, and Parag Garu, and dignitaries of the Dayas, of the Dayas, electronic print media, my colleagues, faculty of this college, students, Good afternoon to everybody. At the outset, let me congratulate the college for organizing such a wonderful symposium for the last three days. And I hope there are lots of deliberations out there. Eminent scientists from all over the country have attended special and algae-related issues must have been deliberated. And lots of solutions also have come up here for the benefit of the human welfare. Let me share some of my experiences in this region. Not at the repetition of the already deliberated issues, but regarding to the certain implementations. Before I go, I could go for it. Let me introduce for a, one individual human being to exist, he needs about 10 kilocalories of energy per day. To sustain one individual, it needs about 100 kilocalories equivalent of food material, you can say the fish. To sustain 100 kilocalories of energy of the fish, it needs about 1000 kilocalories of soup plankton. To sustain that, we need 10,000 kilocalories energy equivalent of phytoplankton for one single individual. Then imagine for about 625 crores of population on this planet plus more than the six, uh, 625 crores of other animals which needs some food materials from this planet. So that much of base of phytoplankton is needed to sustain the life on this planet. We all know that the first life started about about 350 billions of years back, sorry, millions of years back, 3.5 billions. And since then, the process of evolution is taking place. And now we think that though it has not stopped, as if the evolution has stopped, just because of the thoughtless actions of the human beings which are destroying the entire natural resource base of this planet. If that is so, how are we going to hand over 
our progeny, our talent, our uh, knowledge to the coming generations. Now, if you look at that, such a wonderful algae is seen in almost all kinds of ecosystems, tropical, be tropical, be temperate, even on the ice also we can see that. Now that is being in the endangered state and certain places mostly like the Asherian places like the Godavari Krishna Delta and also all other Asherian places, even Ganga, uh, Ganga, great species that are also coming to the Indian coast, that to the east coast, that to Kakinada, is being slaughtered. Unfortunately, such a wonderful fish, it helps us, it scavenges the, the oceanic uh, debris, detritus matter, even uh, the harmful bacteria and all these things. It filters and devours and cleans the entire marine atmosphere, environment. Uh, 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 no, such a wonderful fish is being slaughtered. I, we are going to celebrate the International Whale Shop Day on 30th of this month. We would also like to involve each and every one of the, the uh, citizens of this city and also 